Hi everyone, I'm Sam Lazarus, Creative Director for Rococo, and welcome to the Rococo onboarding series. If this is your first time working with Rococo hardware and software, please watch through all of these videos as they contain some really essential information to make sure that you can get everything set up correctly and avoid any potential problems. So you've received your new Rococo gear, and in this video, we're going to walk through what comes in the Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2 and Smart Gloves packages and walk through all the items. Let's do it. So first, let's take a look at what's in the SmartSuit Pro 2 box. We'll just take all of the items out of the packaging. And now let's just take a look at each of these in turn. So first we have a USB-C cord. You'll use this to connect your SmartSuit to your computer to get it set up. Then we have the smart suit itself, comes in this nice box. We'll be going over the smart suit in detail in just a moment. Next, we've got some fun branded Rococo cards and stickers. So we have this branded Rococo tote. We provide a hanger so you can hang up your smart suit when you're not using it. And then finally, we have this garment bag wrapped in plastic. This garment bag is fantastic for when you're taking your smart suit on the road. Now let's take a closer look at the SmartSuit Pro 2. So this is a glove ready version, which means I'll be able to connect my smart gloves directly to my SmartSuit Pro using these USB-C cables. In the front of the suit, we have these two pockets. The pocket on the right will house the USB cable that you'll plug into your battery pack to power the suit. You can also keep your battery pack in there while you're using the suit. Next, you can find washing and care instructions for the suit up here at the top. And this is very pertinent because you're actually able to remove all the sensors from your suit if you want to put them in a different sized textile or if you want to wash the suit. This suit, for instance, is a small. and We can take a look at a large just for comparison. The same sensors will fit in every size suit that we produce. And you can buy the textiles separately at our website. Now let's turn the suit over and take a look at the sensors themselves. We can unzip the left side of the suit here. And if I open it up, you can see that here are the actual sensors that are powering your motion capture. All of these sensors are attached to the suit just by Velcro, so you can pull them right off if you want to take them out of your suit. If we unzip the central zipper at the top, we'll find the head sensor and the headband it's attached to. So as I just mentioned, this is a glove ready version of the suit. And that means that you can plug your smart gloves directly into the USB-C cable coming out of the arms of the suit. This means that you only need to use a single battery to power both the suit and the gloves. If you have a non glove ready version of the suit, we have a link in the description below that will show you how to set up smart gloves with that version of the suit, or you can click on the link in the corner of the video. Next, if we undo the zipper right here at the back of the hips, you'll find the hub of the smart suit. This is essentially the brains of your smart suit. And if we take a look at the side of the hub, here is where you'll plug in a USB-C cable to connect your suit to your computer. Let's zip everything back up and then we'll take a look at the smart gloves. So here's the box that your smart gloves will come in. If we open it up, the first thing that we'll see is the hard shell case that houses our gloves and that we can put our gloves in when we're traveling or when we're not using them. Underneath this flap, you'll find some USB-C cables, one set that is shorter and one set that is longer. Those longer cables can be used with a non-glove ready version of the suit to power your smart gloves. If we open up the hard shell case, you'll find the actual smart gloves. This is the size medium. And underneath the gloves, you can find these little pockets that you can use to store USB-C cables. Let's take a closer look at the gloves themselves. So the gloves have seven sensors, one on each finger, one on the thumb, one on the wrist, and one in the hub. The hub on the top of the smart glove is where you'll connect a USB-C cable to either power the glove or connect the glove to your SmartSuit Pro. The last two items I want to go over are not included with your Rococo hardware, but are important nonetheless. 
One is a battery pack. We have recommended battery packs in the description below and in the link in the corner of the video. But what's important about the battery pack that you use is that it needs to be able to provide three amps of power through a single USB port. So not distributed over all of its ports, but through a single port. The other item is a dedicated router. We'll get more into why this can be very important in future videos, but having a dedicated router can ensure that you get the highest quality motion capture. In the next video, we'll go over how to download Rococo Studio and how to set up your smart suit and smart gloves with the latest firmware and how to set up their Wi-Fi.